I started listening to NSYNC when I was in high school, which that's right about the right age group to listen to NSYNC. And something just caught, caught my heart and tore it up. Um, and I just, I got obsessed. I became obsessed with NSYNC. If Lance was going to be a teacher, what kind of teacher would he be? If Joey was going to have a pet, what kind of pet would he have? Like, thinking about their lives, thinking about their relationships. That is the logo that was on their first CD. I got that tattoo at the Hart and Huntington Tattoo Parlor at the in the Palms in Las Vegas, okay. which is where Chris Kirkpatrick got one of his tattoos in the early 2000s, and it was the same tattoo artist. Um, although I did buy Darren's Dance Grooves, which was the video created by one of NSYNC's choreographers to help teach us how to do the NSYNC dances. All I really remember is like the this from the It's Gonna Be Me <laughs> video. Oh, I remember sitting in my car trying to learn all the lyrics to bring in the noise from No Strings Attached. Um, and th parts of that song are very fast. The lyrics the lyrics are fast, and they're kind of muddled. The sound production isn't superb on that CD. I'm, I'm sorry, it's superb. It's superb on every <laughs> CD. Um, but I remember like just hitting that song on repeat over and over and over again. And even my friends now, who I actually got to know through different fandoms, because I... For some reason, I only really make friends through fandoms. Um, uh, my friends now all liked NSYNC as well. So, for example, one of my really good friends now, one of the very first times we ever hung out in person was um, she came over to my house and we watched the DVD for um, Pop Odyssey, which was the name of one of NSYNC's tours, and we had a pizza and um, smoked recreational tobacco.